Hello, happy Thanksgiving. It's me, still in France, and I'm thankful because I've convinced my entire French family to try an American Thanksgiving today. So I get to eat turkey in the whole nine yards. Although, slight problem, I've realized with a seven-year-old's vocabulary in French, I have a tough time explaining what stuffing is and why it's good that we put the bread in the turkey's ass. It tastes better because of that. That's, that's hard to explain. Anyway, I have a couple hours till my dinner, till the turkey's ready. So I was just perusing the web. And what do I find but a billion dollar company scamming a YouTuber. And if there's anything that I love in this world, it is well, getting scammed and being a YouTuber. So these are, these, these are my two passions. Let's jump into it. I need to give you guys a bit of context on who this billion dollar company is. You might have heard of them. They go by the name Casetify. They basically make, they make phone cases. And last year they sold 15 million of them. So they, they seem to be doing it pretty well. Uh, topping 300 million in annual revenue. Uh, and some people, based off those numbers, it's a private company, believe them to be worth one to $2 billion, all right? They're based in Hong Kong. They're huge in the US. How are they huge in the US? Well, they have a pretty good marketing campaign. They work with huge celebs. Kylie Jenner, Drake, Olivia Rodrigo, me, the big, the big, the big four. Yes, I did. I, I have worked with Caseify. Here's my, here's my proof is a Caseify case, and that's Aiden. Wow, look at him. I, I, I did a Caseify sponsor because uh, I looked them up. They seemed pretty reputable, and I was like, hey, I need a phone case, and and it worked. My phone's not broken. I'm, I'm rocking the 13. I'm not like an upgrade every year guy. I upgrade whenever, whenever I feel my heart's. Uh, and and so I, you know, I thought I thought it was all good and dandy. Until today, enter enter drama situation. What is the drama? Well, first, let's talk about the uh, the, the the victim here, uh, which is a YouTuber known as Jerry Rig Everything, uh, who you might know from his huge YouTube channel. He's massive. He's way bigger than me. Uh, I remember watching this video. I feel like I've seen it five times where he builds an elevator in his living room for his wife who's in a wheelchair and he seems dope. And it turns out his name's not Jerry. His name's Zach. And he, and he really likes breaking shit open so much so that he has partnered with another phone case company called Dbrand, okay? A lot of, a lot of players in this game. You might know of Dbrand because they do a lot of partnerships with Linus Tech Tips and they, they're quirked up on Twitter. They're, they're, they're quirked out of their minds. Uh, and the exact cases that they made together are called Teardown, which shows you the inside of what your device would look like. Obviously, they can't, you know, it's like a picture of, of what it is, but, but they do a good job of like showing it off, which I think is cool because, you know, it reminds me of the 90s and the Nintendo 64s that let you see in the case. I like that type of design. Okay, that's, that, that's, that's my shit. That's millennial core. That's my shit. Let's get to the scamming, the thievery, the larceny that is claimed to be committed by Caseify. And we know about this because Zach dropped a video on his main channel, Jerry Riggs Everything, called I've Been Robbed, where he details that after he came out along with Dbrand, their tear down line of skins, Caseify came out with their own line of skins called Inside Out. And it's very similar. If you look at them side by side, which uh, Zach shows off right here. You see where I'm going I mean, they look this? incredibly alike. Let's take alike. a look at my Galaxy S23 teardown skin. But if the story was that these two phone case making companies had similar ideas and made similar looking cases, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it. That would be a little bit of he said, she said. Zach knows as a fact that these are stolen. And the way he knows is that he hides Easter eggs inside of the case designs. And there's an entire thread that Dbrand posted that's pretty good that shows a lot of the examples of these Easter eggs being copied over from Dbrand's designs to Caseify's designs. Here's one right here. It is glass is glass and glass breaks. It's like a catchphrase. It'd be like if it said, you know, uh, hit the yoinky spoinky, and it was a it was a it was a German design. Uh, here's to me the most glaring one. Uh, it is a uh, design that says subscribe, and they changed that. You know, shout out Caseify. They did a little bit of change in there. They didn't keep the subscribe. They they put the the Caseify shorthand, but they kept the numbers eleven eleven eleven. And those numbers are the founding date of Dbrand, also the, the day that Skyrim came out. But, but that, that's, that's, okay, that's kind of weird. And then over here, it says R0807, which isn't like something that's actually on the phone if you break it apart. It just stands for robot, which is a Twitter handle owned by Dbrand, which they use for customer support, which is why they put it there. There's a bunch more examples of this. I think the most glaring one right here is that they put 1111 watts, again, to shout out their founding date. It doesn't actually have 11.11 .11 watts. 
it has like 19 or some shit. I mean, Zach said it in the video. But, but th- these are all clear examples of Casetify ripping off the entirety of what they made and, and then just putting it on their own website for a higher price, by the way, too. Uh, and that's, that's kind of messed up. But it's even more messed up because it turns out that they're not actually buying the cases, scanning them, and then uploading it to their website. They're just copy and pasting it like a fucking NFT. To add insult to injury, if you look at Case Defy's website and check out their, I mean, my Galaxy Z Fold 4 case, it looks just like a normal ripoff. But if we zoom in, we notice a random extra camera lens at the top of the picture, a portion of a fourth circle. Mm. Turns out it's not just a random camera lens, it's literally the camera from our teardown product image on our product page. So no- so they're basically copy pasting all the designs off of Dbrand's website, photoshopping it, putting it on their website, and then selling it for more money as the larger company in the picture, right? Which matters. You know, if this is if this is some random ass small startup drop shipping kid, then you'd be like, "Hey man, you're not going to fucking make it doing that dumb shit." But it's a billion dollar company. What higher ups are letting this go through? This, this is for a huge line. And one question I had is, okay, how much, how much effort, work, time, and money is actually put into this case line, right? Like, are they just like ripping from Apple or Samsung directly what the, the inside of the phones look like? No, no, it's not that at all. In Check fact, he shows it here, but they go through, not only do they open up every single device, but they also scan it and then Photoshop it to look nicer than it would if you just did the raw scan itself. Up image in incredible detail with Easter eggs added is what you'd get with a teardown skin or on a teardown grip case. And he even says in the video that it's taken tens of thousands of hours of, of human time to create this skin line that was taken, right clicked, saved and uploaded by Casetify in probably a week, which is pretty fucked up. And what are they gonna do about it? Are they just gonna make a YouTube video, create a little drama, and then everybody moves on next week like happens with most things in this world? No, they're bringing out the big guns. We've officially filed a federal lawsuit against Casetify for copyright infringement as of yesterday morning. Uncle- they're going to court. <laughs> Uh, and, and now we don't know case if I hasn't said anything about this yet. It does seem quite damning. However, if you go to their website, which actually times out, if you attempt to go to it right now, because everyone's trying to see what the fuck's up, they've actually taken down their inside out collection. You can't even see it right now. I mean, you can't see anything on the website, but, but that, that, that feels a bit weird to me. However, Wayback Machine uh, exists, uh, and because of that, we can see that, yeah, they, they definitely just had it up for every single case for a higher price, totally ripping off uh, Dbrand and, and more importantly, Zach, who's just, you know, the human behind this idea. Uh, so anyway, I'm not sponsored. However, they did also drop a new case line today. Uh, so I bought it. I bought it to buy one, get one. I was like, fuck it. I need a new goddamn case now. Can you use my Caseify case? Thank you for the money though, I appreciate it, all right? I will not do it again uh, because you guys seem like some real pieces of shit and that's all, all right? I'm gonna go eat some food. Uh, what, what, what are you guys thankful for? Dro- drop it in the comments or don't, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna read it. I'll actually read some. I actually do like replying to comments. All right, see you later, goodbye. See you, have, have a good one. All right, that's it, goodbye now.